Hey everyone, it's uh, the gang here at Next Level Ag for the third quarter roundtable. Holy crap, this year's gone fast. But uh, just going to cover a couple of topics here today, take a couple minutes of your time that you're willing to give us. Thank you for that. Here's Matthew for the latest crop report. Oh, okay. So, um, <laughs> jump me with that. Uh, we've been out in the field kind of checking things out. We like to take a little peek at stuff before we get into harvest and see uh, how our products are performing. Uh, fertilizer, seed, pivot, whatever. Um, but we were all doing some yield checks in corn uh, last week, and I was maybe in, uh, obviously yield checks can be variable, but uh, we use the same kind of formula every year, and uh, we've been off either side, high, low, about 10 bushel is the most. So we were coming up with some pretty darn good yields when we were doing some yield checks. And it varied upon which area you were in with rainfall and whatnot, but, uh, um, you know, and some of the fields with manure history were, I mean, pretty surprising how high they were. And then some with last year's sugar beet ground were maybe a little bit disappointing. But if you look back to the conditions and the time of planting in spring, I think we'll be very surprised with what we yield. Uh, it's not going to be a bin buster record setting crop, I don't think, for most people. But I think it's going to be uh, much better than what we probably could have hoped for end of May, early June. So uh, we've had a pretty good summer, uh, maybe could use a little bit more rain uh, in spots, but we've had heat, which we all hoped we would have heat at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Um, so if we can get a warm September here, I think we can push the crop through and, and as long as we avoid a frost here in the next couple of weeks, I think um, we'll, we'll finish the crop out and, and get into harvest pretty good. And uh, I've, we've been in beet fields, they look good. Uh, they've grown a lot. The stands are what they are in some fields, but they um, have really liked the drinks of rain we've gotten in the last uh, month or so, um, and they had a good root down. It's very similar, actually, to last year's summer in that aspect of yeah. being pretty dry and getting rain at the right time. Uh, so I, I know we're not going to have beets like we did last year by any means, but I think we'll be also a little bit surprised at what, what they end up yielding here. Hopefully we can get sugar where it needs to be. Um, as far as edible beans, I know some people have sprayed a few fields and started harvest. Um, and from the few people that have started, they're pretty happy with the yield. Uh, when I walk through them or walk next to them, it's not very easy to walk through them, they look pretty good. And they were probably the crop that was planted the most on time this year. So I think we could be pretty uh, happy with what that looks like. The, the crop, I'm not quite sure what to expect here. Soybeans, when I look at them, I, I, they maybe look better than I thought they would look. Um, but we maybe missed the rain here at the end to really fill the top pods. So that'll be interesting to see what they um, end up yielding. They're just kind of starting to turn some of them. So um, probably gearing up for a little bit later start to harvest, obviously for all crops. So that'll put the pressure on everybody. But uh, it's exciting for us to check it out and see um, results and what worked and what didn't work. I think we've already taken some notes on uh, some stuff that we really like that we've tried this year. So. Um, with that being said, uh, as far as the seed stuff goes, we do actually have our price sheet. Yes. So um, there's going to be some early discounts that we're going to probably want to take advantage of. So don't be afraid to holler. We can start working on that at any time. So, um, And then as far as the other products, I know Sean and Nick are going to touch on Pivot a little bit. Uh, we're pretty excited about that. Yeah. This coming year. Pivot is a, like Matt said, we're, we're very excited about it. I think it's kind of a... You know, a very good option considering what the fertilizer market is like now. Um, it, you know, it'd be a good way to supplement your end. Um, maybe do a little additional, or, or you know, maybe replace a side dress application, something like that. Um, and we've seen some pretty good results with it, so it's uh, it's exciting, and we're looking forward to hopefully getting some more of that out in the countryside mm -hmm. and see what it can do. And similar with like guys that have worked with us about the agri-liquid, we have those programs that you can update planners and similar things. Pivot has those options as well, so that is a good way to introduce it to your farm and see what see what you can find if it works. So, and I think we can take some of those same programs and probably double dip them with egg liquid. So, yeah, I think if you want to do some of that stuff or you're interested in trying some of the stuff, the sooner the better. Yeah. I don't think, uh, as you, uh, many of you know, dry and, buying dry fertilizer right now 
uh, it's it's really the same in the liquid market. Um, it's not going the direction we'd like to see. So I think the sooner we can lock in what we know we're, we're going to need, I think we're it'll be a, maybe not fun, but yeah. a good uh, financial decision. So, uh, but to to make that all that stuff affordable, there are some good rebates through Egg Liquid and and uh, Pivot for some, some programming, and I think we could use both of those to really kind of. Uh, make it more affordable for the grower. And in the past few years, Pivot has kind of, they only have a limited supply. Is that probably the same thing? So getting on yeah. some of that would be, yep. Yep. if you want it, like re reach out to us. And yeah, they were working on a formulation last year to take it from 25 pounds of replacement in to 40 pounds. Well, they've, they've got that solid now, so we're at a 40 pound replacement product. And when you figure all of their rebates into it, I think we're at about 60 cents per pound of in. Whereas your dry and your other liquids, that's going to be a dollar plus at this point. Just got an email this morning with another price increase. Um, volatility and everything is still out there. We were hoping it would be a little bit better at this point, but still a, a global issue. So it's causing issues not only in fertilizer, but still electronics. We got to be thinking ahead with every aspect and investing ahead of the time where we have been used to for years past. So if we don't have anything we want to do with Trimble or Egg Lead or any other products that we carry um, before next spring, we got to be thinking about that ahead of time. And just don't be afraid to give me a call and we can figure that stuff out. Same with Agro Liquid. Um, just lock things in, use the programs that are available, and hopefully we can offset all of our input costs enough that we can keep prospering the farmer and taking everyone to the next level while we do it. So yep. I think that covers everything we were going to discuss today. So. But don't be afraid to call, text, Snapchat, you know, email, whatever. We'll, we'll if we don't know the answer, which I don't ever hardly, we'll find it. We'll yeah. find out and get back to you. And we want to get everything uh, ready for next year. I think a lot of people that locked everything in last year were pretty happy with where they ended up. And to me, it looks like it's shaping up into the same kind of environment. And I'm not a kind of guy that likes to buy stuff for the next year early but I, I think that's important with the environment we're in so yeah we're still financing this year's crop and we have to start financing next year's at yep. the same time it's just puts a lot of pressure on things but there will be an advantage the quicker we can think about these things and get them locked in but we hope everyone has a safe and wonderfully surprising harvest and we'll try to get some footage and keep in contact with everyone as we move through it